welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Taken from the 10. Brought down at the 24. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackle around the 32-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Complete. He's got room. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. And that'll be a first down on the six-yard pass. Heads-up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. Second and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Caught a big hit there to stop it. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got a change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires to his receiver, first down. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From the 47-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 46. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. yard line. It's first down. Brought down at the 34 yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Need to get it to the 25. He wants it all. The defender had it and then dropped it. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Gets out to about the 21. From their own 21-yard line. It's second down. And off to the left. He's pushed out of bounds. The 
30 yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42. And he's taken down at the 49. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Tries to get around the corner. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Tackled after decent pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Nice play fake. Wants to throw outside. He's tackled around the three-yard line. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. And this play is number eight on the drive. They line up in the jumbo set. And down he goes at the three. They're at the three. Second down. And he gets the touchdown. And the halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he converts the extra point. A nine play, 81 yard drive and they come away with seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 7 up. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Well, if this one is going to keep going like it is, we're going to be in for a heck of a football game. Well, let's hope so. This, this seems to be a very competitive matchup, and right now we're seeing the early dividends of that. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. The score here in Houston is the Diamondbacks. Seven, the Highlanders, nothing. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And they get nice yardage on that run. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Taken down at the 47. Empty backfield. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage.
the stop right around the 32-yard line. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. From the 32-yard line, first down. He'll get it again. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. It's first and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. He fights forward to about the 13. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver one. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gets to about the 34-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. About two minutes before halftime. Nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. Pitch out. From their own 46 yard line. First down. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle around the 49-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throws it deep. He scores! What a play! Nice 
nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Just throws this one away. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 33. And they got it. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. That's not going to move the sticks. Yeah, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting them get into any kind of rhythm. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he can't hang on to the ball. Tackle made at the 38. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And it's incomplete. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Is out of bounds. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 39 yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. It out. Tackle made at midfield. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick pass. Throws complete. He's got room to work. A great first half comes to a close. The score here in Houston is the Diamondbacks, 14, the Highlanders, 7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, 
don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk takes the second half. Short kickoff. He got hit hard. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Gets out to around the 48. from their own 48-yard line. It's first down. They'll run it. That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. up a yard and the ball carrier wasn't getting away from that tackle third down now and they need to get it inside the 42 and they've got all their dbs in there to match up against the five wide set get to that quickly knocked out of bounds the 39 yard line play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 43. Complete brought down. Nothing to it. himself from the backfield with five wideouts. Strike to his receiver, no good. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. He's tackled around the two-yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. Superb 
effort, and really, when it matters most, these guys don't want to give up points so easily. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. Trying to get the ball to the outside on the sweep. The offensive line couldn't get enough lateral movement to keep the defense from stopping him for a loss. He gets it up, and he's got it. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he's tackled at the 33. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Second and 13. Ball on the 31. Caught out of the open. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. They're about four yards away here on third down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Complete. He's got room. He steps out right around the 42-yard line. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Didn't get all of that one. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Bring him down at the 43-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That makes it second and eight. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. From the 39-yard line, first down. Fires out to his wide end, and down he goes around the 32-yard line. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. The defense wasn't fooled too much by the play action, but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's taken down right around the 30. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. The score here in Houston is the Diamondbacks, 17. The Highlanders, 7. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Nice run to the left there. 
from the 25 yard line. First down. Gains his way to the 16 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. some football you bet he can he's such an all-around player he's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football and he converts the extra point looks like they're ready for the kick he really got a hold of that kick he's to the 20 and down he goes to the 25 yard line It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. From their own 41 yard line. It's first down. And he throws it away. out of bounds around the 50 yard line short yardage situation here it's third and one and he's tackled after positive yardage there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's pushed out of bounds at the 32-yard line. the stop at about the 25 yard line they just took what the defense gave them on that play yeah you're right that was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage second down three yards to go ball on the 25 just under three to go in regulation it's caught first down and he's out of bounds this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision. But that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And he adds 
adds the extra point. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle around the 38-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. It's second and seven. Ball on the 38-yard line. Gets to about the 37-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. Just over two minutes in the game. Swings it out left to the halfback. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. And now they've got no timeouts left. Tailback run down for a loss. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29. And he tackles him hard at the 27. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. This one's in the books, and our final score, the Diamondbacks, 24, the Highlanders, 14. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.